Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be going over problem 14 of the Gateway Lab, lab exams. Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be going over deferrals and accruals in financial accounting while going over problem 14 of CSUN's Financial Accounting Gateway Lab exam practices. All right, so this question is just asking, what is an example of a deferral? Uh, so A reads accruing year-end wages, B recognizing revenues earned but not yet recorded, C recording prepaid rent, D recognizing expenses incurred but not yet recorded, or E none of the options listed. So an accrual is when you are recognizing a revenue or an expense but you have not paid it or received it yet. And a deferral is when you have received the payment or uh, have paid something, but you are not recognizing it. So let's look at each one of those with that in mind. So accruing year-end wages, obviously it's an accrual because it's saying accruing, and that would be at the end of the year where I have a week or two left to pay my employees. I haven't given them the cash yet, but I have to put it on my books as an accrual at year end to help with closing. So financial statement users can understand my financial statements. So we've accrued something that I have not yet paid. So it's not A, that's an accrual. B, recognizing revenues earned but not yet recorded. Um, so we're recognizing revenues that are not yet recorded. Uh, so we are accruing those revenues. Um, so that, again, it has nothing to do with deferrals. So that, again, is an accrual. C, recording prepaid rent. So if I have paid my landlord for my business, uh, my hypothetical business, uh, for the whole year, so let's say I pay $12,000 for the whole year, I'm not going to be able to expense that immediately on a financial accounting basis because on a financial accounting basis, I'm gonna receive a benefit for the next 12 months. So I have to amortize that over, or depreciate it, or however you wanna look at it, over the next 12 months. Um, so. I could only do $1,000 a month. So I'm going to debit prepaid rent. Um, I'm going to credit my cash. And every month I will reverse that out into expense. So I'll credit my prepaid rent and I'll debit my expense, my rent expense. And that's a great example of a deferral is prepaid rent because I paid the money, but I'm deferring recognition. So C is the answer. C is the answer. I didn't highlight it this time forgot to, but C is the answer. D is not the answer because recognizing expenses incurred but not yet recorded has, uh, has nothing to do with deferrals. And E, none of the options listed, obviously the answer is C, so we are fine. So remember C for this answer. Um, remember accruals, we're accumulating things that we have not yet, uh, we are accumulating <laughs> revenues or expenses uh, on the books that we have not yet paid or uh, received and for deferrals we have paid it or we have received it uh, but we are not going to record it yet because it's just not the time so i hope that helps and if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask and best of luck on your exam